Hey guys, welcome back to another match video. I got to shoot CSRA shooters in Augusta, Georgia, or North Augusta, or near North Augusta, South Carolina. If you're in the area, I'm pretty sure it's fourth Saturday uh, every month. Come out and shoot it. The best way to support the uh, the shooting sports is to come shoot a match. Uh, but thanks to David putting on another hell of a match. That facility is awesome, like I said in my last video, and they have huge bays. So they can put on some really cool stages, and um, it was it's just really nice. Now, it was really hot, guys. It was like 100 degrees when we got done the match. It was brutal. I mean, it was more of a survival <laughs> thing than anything. But um, anyway, awesome match, awesome facility, uh, awesome group of guys that put, put that on. Uh, <clears throat> so um, ended up finishing second place on the day in limited out of 20 shooters, 92.53% uh, to uh, Mr. Team Taco Power Factor himself, John, a uh, buddy of mine that um, is is the guy that created Team Taco Power Factor. And he won the match. It was awesome. He was on fire. He was on point. His efficiency was good. His shooting was great. Uh, no mics on the day. It was awesome. I... I had I ran the match in 104 seconds, which was pretty fast. He ran it in 108. Uh, so I, I was moving pretty fast, but I had four mics and a no shoot on the classifier, so that kind of took me out of the running. But uh, looking at everyone else's times, we didn't have an M class shooter to compare ourselves to, so I don't really know. Um, some of the open guys there were running it in like 90 seconds, so I'll take 104. Uh, it just feels good to get back to pistol matches, man. I tell you. This whole house move and everything, and then you know gearing up for that three gun with with Team Trainwreck, man, those are so much fun. Um, and then the long range match, you know, awesome experience. But and it feels really good to get back to the quest. <laughs> but I feel like I could I could have done better. Some of the things that I noticed on the video was um, I let the gun come down a little too much in transitions. Uh, I think I, there need to really work on that. I, I have worked on that in the past and I think it helped, but I'm, I was getting lazy or tired and the gun coming down doesn't help. Uh, double shooting targets. The one thing I want to say about John is his stage plans are always just a little bit better than mine. I come up with stage plans that I look at and I'm like, okay, that'll work. And he'll look at it and go, well, what about this or what about that? And uh, several times he just has a great, great stage planning. So I appreciate him for that. Uh, double shooting of targets. Uh, some of those stage plans uh, require you to ignore a target in one position and then shoot it or shoot it and then ignore it. And a lot of, a lot of guys, including myself, will shoot a target twice. I shot a target. I was I should, getting ready to put the second shot on it and I remembered and I moved, which was good. And then one other stage, you'll see I looked at the target and I said, nope. <laughs> but that costs a lot of time. Uh, putting four rounds on each target takes a lot of time. Um, my footwork, uh, footwork I think was good. Uh, speed was good. I was pretty happy with all of that. Uh, the fourth stage you're going to see, it was like, a, someone told me in the back of my head, man, uh, you're, you're not going to win this match, uh, or you're not going to do well if you don't pick up the pace. And so I shot that stage in 1644. Most guys were shooting it in 19 or 20 seconds. So I just blazed through it. And I do think I picked up a mic on that stage, but it'll be a fun one to watch if you watch the whole video. The fourth stage you're going to see. On the classifier, I picked up a no-shoot, so it won't matter. Uh, the gun. The gun ran great. The Atlas Nemesis. I still just love, love, love the gun. Um, you'll see two issues well, on a, on a uh, magazine pickup stage. Uh, I downloaded that mag so it would go into the gun real quick, and it did. The problem was the first round there was something wrong and I racked it out and so I went to slide lock. I couldn't find that round uh, to figure out what happened. Uh, but at any rate, uh, and then I went to reload and I forgot about my round count being off because of that one round I racked out. And so I, it was a click and it, that wasn't a problem with the gun or ammo. It was just no bullet in the chamber. Uh, so the only two issues, but other than that, it just runs flawlessly. I'm very, very happy with it. So, guys, you all that's into this kind of crap, enjoy. Stand by!
done shooting and unloading. Show clear. Stand by! Show clear. Slide. Shooting on loaded. Show clear. Slide forward. Hammer down. There's two holes clear. in it. 